As we spoke yesterday, how Radhaji can fulfill Krishna's all the desires. So that's why we discussed the five, four names of Radha: Govinda, Nandini, Mohini, Govindi, Mohini, Sarva, Kanta. Devi Krishna Mahira, Devi Krishna Mahira, Snake Mohini Para, Devi Krishna Mahi Prokata, Radhika Para Devata, Sarva Lakshmi Mahi, Sarva Kanti Suma Mahina Pare. So we discussed in detail of the stores. What is the meaning of the Devi that we discussed yesterday? The meaning of Devi was discussed is Devi means very Devi means somebody who is very beautiful. The, the complexion, his complexion is like illuminates and who gives anand gives anand to Krishna. Radha is all the all the body of the Radha Rani. It is called Krishna's. Where Krishna, where Krishna is in uh, his anand, happiness. In Nagari, like in the Nagari, like in a where there is entertainment. You know, different types of entertainments are in the cities. You know, they are enjoying in the in the city. They have entertainment. So the difference between the city and the town is village is in the city there is so many facilities for entertainments but in the village there is not so many facilities for entertainment in the city there is different types of entertainments to enjoyment for enjoyment there is many many facilities in the city so that's why the people want to leave villages and come to the city. The the life of the villager is very is rural, and the life of the city is very. Also, is very high, like in the city. And uh, in the villages, there may be not high schools, you know, and uh, hospitals. Even the roads would be small, and it's not very clean. In the city, every everything is there available. That's why people want to come to the city from the villages. There's universities, there's colleges, there's a you know a higher upper education facilities. There's offices, government offices. Yeah, it's all in the city. 
and in the village there is nothing like that available that's why here is saying krishna kali vasati nagari Srimati Radhika is not ordinary tattva. She is the she is, she is the one who where Krishna who is the who is the ruler of the whole universe. He is having Ras Lila amorous pastimes with Radhika. Jyogyavati, Jyogya person is Akanda Brahman. He is the Nayak, he is the hero of the whole Brahmanda. And Srimati Radhika is also, she is the Nayaka, she is the heroine. That's why Radha and Krishna's Milan meeting is very special. And then Dona Mil, they meet together and they relish the amorous pastimes. When the Rashik, Rashik, when he meets the, there is one Rasik which now can be friends with uh, another person who is also Rasik. Rasik is means he has got a gyan of Ras. Krishna is Rasik and Srimati Radhika is also Rasik. Like that. So that's why Radha and Krishna, meeting of Radha and Krishna is a very, very adbhut, wonderful. One Saki is saying in Gita Govinda, in Gita Govinda, in the first chapter, 11 slok, slok number 11. What is the slok? Hey Saki. It's a very alankari. Keta Govind, Chaibe Goswami Bhad. It's one Saki. The one Saki is describing Radha's here and telling Radha's here, sorry. The beauty of the Krishna is what? What is the beauty? She is describing the beauty of Krishna. Every he, he attracts, he attracts every living entity. That his his rup is so beautiful that anyone who has looks at him are attracted by. He attracts everyone. Krishna, the limbs of Krishna are so beautiful, so mother. Anak Ananta Karor means not only one universe, every living entity, one all the universes he attracts every. That the the beauty of 
Krishna's body, his eyes, you describe about his eyes are like he has got his peacock feather on his foot. Krishna is every, every, if we describe each and every limb and of the body, the, the, who, can, who can describe the, the, the beauty? Even the, even the Lord Brahma cannot. Krishna's, the, the rup, the rup of Krishna is so beautiful that with that rup, that rup, even one chit, one, uh, one uh, light, one flash of light of the, that comes out, emanates from the body of Krishna, is just beautiful. That we will not, we cannot even imagine that what the beauty of Krishna is. Who, whoever has, has darshan, then only he can understand and he can realize. It's like a blind man. If you describe anything in front of a blind man, he will not be able to understand or realize it. If you describe the elephant in, in front of a blind man, like elephant is such a great big thing, like a mountain, like a Himalaya mountain. Here, in this slok, just like um, in front of a blind man, if you describe the mountain to a blind person, he will not be able to understand. Uh, neither, neither would he have any realization of it. Somebody who is actually seen it, seen that mountain, Parvatmala, then you, then you describe that to him. Then he will have, he will be able to relish it. He will relish the discrimination, or he will be able to enjoy it and understand the discrimination because he is seeing it. If you then if you if you, yes, if you see in the mountain with the eyes, and somebody, and then somebody describes it, then you will really like it. But somebody who is not seeing it at all, then how can you describe the beauty of the mountain to that person? What is, what is the elephant? The elephant is like huge. If somebody is not seeing an elephant, then and if somebody who's not seen the yeah. elephant and then you described to that person that person then then you would describe you would give a description and give an example and then set up this like you say oh the tr trust and you know, suit you know trunk is like a snake and the ears like ears are like a supra um, uh, uh, supra in english ha uh, supra in english you know when they they, they separate the ch chawal with the husk no but what is that called supra no no supra the, those are the ears supra is like yeah the legs of the elephant are like a pillar, a pillar. So even in the in the eye in a blind person, then the blind will we say, "What is pillar?" Even if you if you give an example, then you say, "Oh, what does a snake look like? What is what are the ears like? Chupra. What is chupra? Like? The tail. What does the tail like? Elephant. The tail of the elephant is like a snake. Whatever, however detailed description you give, but he will. Yeah, he will have no interest. He will not be able to understand. So, 
Similarly, Krishna's beauty is is so beautiful that who has ever doesn't know Krishna will be able to understand. So somebody who has a darshan of Krishna and then to that person you describe the beauty of Krishna, then he will be able to understand and relish the beauty. So Bhagavati is telling to a Sakhi, hey Sakhi, that the beauty of the limbs, the beauty, the, the limbs of Krishna is so beautiful that Krishna's as he is describing each and every limb of Krishna. The beauty of the limbs of Krishna. He gives anand to all the jeeves. His, his, his eyes, his feet, his lotus feet are like very soft, very soft, like a petal, you know, like the lotus leaf, lo leaf of a lotus flower. So, so if somebody has not seen the lotus, so there, then you have not of interest, you know, like, then you will say, what is a lotus? What does the lotus look like? In order to describe, describe something, then we have to give an example of something else. But if that person doesn't know that other object that you are using to e as an example to describe, then we will not be able to understand. So that's why saying, hey Krishna, the Krishna's beautiful. When the gopis see the limbs of Krishna, that the prem manifested transcendental, that trans that is called prem. They have so much transcendental lust in their heart. When they have darshan of Krishna, that Krishna is so beautiful. There is no words that. There's no descriptive words that you can use to describe the beauty of Krishna. What is a Krishna's eyes like? Like a komal, like a like a lotus. Really, is it Krishna's eyes is like lotus? What happens to the lotus after two days? The leaves fall off in a lotus flower. Krishna is like that. So why have they given that example as a lotus? So, like Shakha Chandra ki. So sometimes you have to describe, but you cannot even compare the lotus flower with the beauty of Krishna. So like a small boy, he says to the mother, Mother, where is the moon? The mother says, look up. Look up in that direction and you can see the moon. On the middle of the two branches, on a mango tree, there is the moon there. The, so the young boy is saying to the mother, so mother is saying, the chandra, the moon is between the branches in the tree, in the mango tree. So he said, yeah, look, look that way, look in that direction, and you will be able to see moon. So then you think, is the moon actually there? No, the moon is many millions and millions of miles away. But still, but to make the boy understand, so the mother is said, see, that is Chandrama. That is the moon. Krishna's 
with his feet are so soft. He is Akashan, Akashan, Chit. He, he steals everybody's heart, attracts everyone's heart. But in Brajadevi's heart, there is a transcendental calm that is manifested because when they, that calm has been manifested in the gopi's heart because of the beauty of the Krishna. Krishna is is Alinga, also Krishna is Alinga, he's Bhagi and, he's, and in the Shingaras, he's relishing the Shingaras with the gopis. That's why the beauty of the Krishna, the Krishna's beauty, the Radhaji, so even the Radhaji's beauty, Radhaji is also in that beauty of Krishna. Radhaji is not only the Radhaji's beauty, she's two fingers ahead of Krishna. Krishna's, he put the beauty of Krishna in one scale and put the beauty of the Radharani's on the other scale, then you will see the, the, the beauty of the scale. The Radharani's beauty on the scale will be higher than the Krishna's scale. If it's light, something light will go up and something that's heavy will go down. So like that, Radharani's beauty is, is two fingers more beauty. Her beauty is far more beauty, more beautiful than Krishna's beauty. So one guru went to went to one new disciple's house and he had so much enthusiasm to serve Gurudev and Gurudev went to his house and it was the first time and a new disciple's house when they are new they have got us so much enthusiasm oh Gurudev please come how can I serve you I surrender I am surrendering totally at your lotus feet because they are new and they have a lot of enthusiasm in the beginning. So like that, so Gurudev went to the new disciple's house. Gurudev spoke very nice Harikatha and then now the disciple said, you take rest here. I will prepare some potion for you. So the disciples said to the Guru, so he, he made all the arrangements to cook for, for Gurudev. Then he said to Gurudev, please tell me, will, what, what should I prepare for you? Shall I make dal and roti or sabji or chawal, rice? or puri, you tell me as you like and I will do, I will prepare. Guru Dev was, <laughs> the Guru Dev also, <laughs> no, no, so some people like, they like chatpati, you know, like chatmit, chatmit, chatpat, like tasty, chatpati, you know, like chat. Chatpat, very spicy and uh, spicy and tasty, yes, so. Like spicy. Everybody is different, right? They have different taste. And some like chatpati, chatpati, he's not, he's not foreigner. Huh? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> they eat, they eat something else. Yeah? It's very tasty and it's very spicy. And then after they have uh, stomach problem, stomach problem. <laughs> then after spicy, <laughs> then after it is spicy, they want to have ice cream. But then they have ice cream. Then they go into Mahabha. What I'm trying to say is, so this guru, he liked to like chatpati, very spicy food. He liked to eat spicy food, chilies and masala. And so he's a new disciple. <coughs> so how can he speak to a new disciple and say, okay, make me something very spicy? Because he's Shruti. so his Shraddha is very common, it's very weak. So if he speaks too much, then this disciple's Shraddha will break. So then he'll think, oh, this, this is not Prabhu Guru, he's this, he's Guru. So, so he doesn't want the Tattva Siddhanta, then he's... So if, if if he directly speaks to the yeah. disciple that, oh, I want chili and mm -hmm. a spicy mm -hmm. preparation, then the sister will think, oh, what is he? Is he a bogey? Yeah. Like he's, even we are living in Grasta life and we don't even have this spicy chatpat. Chatpat. Fresh food. So, so, so this uh, guru went to a new disciple's house. So, he couldn't directly tell him that I want spicy chitpat So the, the guru started to think, how will I, how will I be able to tell this disciple that actually I like chatpat, you know, spicy. spicy. So guru then kept the sishya, kept on asking him many several times. He said, oh, make some. So then guru is not. There. So guru said, make something very light for me. She started to think. So Guru, so Guru they say it's something light. He wants to have something light. What is light? Pani. Pani. Pani is Pani. She says, disciple is new disciple. He started to think. <laughs> so, like, you know, maybe, maybe Guru Dev doesn't, maybe Guru Dev wants just water tonight. <coughs> so, he boiled some water and cooled it down and, and then gave him, like, lukewarm water. This many bacteria and things in the water. So, he boiled the water. In the news, it used to come that during the rainy season, in the news, it used to come that uh, there's some uh, cholera. cholera, no, oh, typhoid, no, this gives it's parasite, viral, viral, viral. No. If, if it's like if the water is not good, no, 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 no. It's like it's, no. you have diarrhea. You know, you have diarrhea if the water is contaminated. Bacteria with bacteria, but I don't know what the name is. If the water is contaminated and you drink it, then you would have diarrhea. That's why nowadays they say boil the water. Then all the bacteria will die. And then, and then filter the water. And then after filtering, let, let the water cool down. And then, yes, then drink it. Because it's rainy season. So there will be many insects and bacteria in the water. So the, uh, the disciple. So so the, <laughs> the guru said, make me something light. So he thought, oh, the light water. So he boiled some water and he filtered it and then he gave this water to Gurudev. Gurudev. So he said, oh, say like boil some water and give me water because water is a, this khichri is a little bit heavy. So. 
Krishna is beautiful. Krishna is beautiful, but more beautiful than Krishna is Radharani. So like Krishna is saying, who is above me? Who is more beautiful than who is more beautiful? Is Radharani. Radharani is more beautiful than Krishna. That's why Krishna's qualities, even having all these extra qualities, Krishna. Yes, then Radhika, Radhika's beauty and beauty and Madhurya's beauty is even more than Krishna's beauty. Krishna, Krishna is so beautiful and Radhanan is even more beautiful than Krishna. That's why Krishna Sarasada said he, he is pastimes with the gopis and Krishna. And the sesta of the gopis is Radha. And the, the best of the gopis is Radha. Here in Chaitanya Chitma, when we say it's compared, it says Krishna's root and this Radharani's root. That comparing, even with Krishna's root, is so much, so much more beautiful. That's why Krishna is attracted to Radharani. Krishna's gun, how many guns he has? 64. 64 qualities. Krishna has 64 qualities. And Radharani has how many qualities? 25. So Radharani has 25 qualities. 25 qualities that Radhaji has. Even, her gun, her, even the number is less, but but his, her, her beauty is even more than her qualities are more than Krishna's. So, so Krishna, in Sringar Ras, Krishna is relishing his gopis. And what is that time? Which time? What time when he's having that Ras? Relishing the Ras is Basanti, spring season. These four things. In four things to this ras, place, udipan, stimulus. Is time, sorry, this means place, 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 place. There's a place when Krishna has filled with the, the place. Which place did he have amorous pastimes with? His gopi is, is Vrindavan. There's two Vrindavans. One is Panchakoshi Vrindavan. Then we do Vrindavan Parikrama. And the other Briyad Vrindavan. That is from Radha Kund, Nanda Gao, Barsana. That's the, like the external, you know, the outer part of Vrindavan. And then the Parikrama we do, that is the inner part of Vrindavan. <coughs> the beauty of the gopis is of it that is Krishna is also attracted to them. And gopis also, they are so mad after Krishna's beauty that they, that they, that they but he, Krishna left all the gopis 
and and he's yeah. always attracted to Radharani because Radharani's beauty yeah. is is uh, topmost. Like you need some Siddhanta here. Like they, for example, like so to, in order to relish something, you should look at the four things. Des, place. Des is place means is Vrindavan. Kal means time. It's a basanti. Oh, time. Spring season. Spring season. It's a spring season or autumn season. That Krishna is many, many lilas. But at the spring season and autumn season, they are the, like very important. At Basantala, Basanta. Basanta means spring season and Sarad. Saradya. Saradya means autumn season. In Srimad Bhagavatam, it's written Sarad Kal is, is autumn season. There's the less heat the, and then and the, and the weather and the wind is nicely blowing, very cool breeze is there. So like rainy season has gone by and the heat is also gone away and slowly, slowly, nice, small, less like, like slow, cooling, cooling weather is coming. At night, I didn't even put the fan on. And you open the, and open the windows and it was nice, very cool breeze was blowing in my room. Huh? Yeah, you, you. Ah, it was very nice tonight that we didn't even have to switch the fan on. Mm. If, you sleep, if you sleep on the roof, then you would feel cold. The weather is my so des okay, des patra patri nayak and naikin heroine and hero Radha and Krishna are the hero 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 and heroine and the Uddipan is the is Uddipan is what the stimulus is the 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 example is Golden Kripa, Golden 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 Creeper, the creeper. Sarna Lali, Lali. Golden creeper. Oh, it's like Kundali. It's going like round around. Like in the Tamal Krishna, the Lata. But the Lata is going like round and round the branches of so he's moving like you know tamal trees represents krishna and kala and the tamal krishna and damba trees is a radha so like that you know how the creeper is rounded round the the, the branch of a tree that is udipan like tree where there is a premi bhakta when they, when they see something like that, then the stimulus comes in their mind that they want to meet their beloved. And Radha Kunda Tata Kunja Kutita Govardhan Parit Parvat. Udipan, like birds, you know, the birds, birds are chirping and, and this, you know, dancing and flying. And the mrida, the deers, how they are, how they are, how they are walking with their female 
dear, so nicely and gracefully. So what is all this? This is stimulus. And that heroin, 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 this gives stimulate, stimulate the hero in heroin. So in the Shastra, it's described. So by remembering these things, then you have Uddipan in your heart. You have stimulus of it. So you put this, Kal, place. So all the Anga, the limbs of Radhaji are so beautiful. You can, it's possible for you to describe. Darshan, there's two types of darshan. 
अलंकार ध्वनि अलंकार ध्वनि अंगीत दर्शन अंगीत फर्स्ट यू शुड लुक एट द अंक टेन यू लुक एट द देन थर्ड इज भाव लाइक व्हाट लाइक द भाव व्हाट इज द मूड ऑफ ठाकुर जी टुडे दैट इज कॉल्ड भाव अलंकार दर्शन नाना विद अलंकार नाना विद अलंकार भजन That today is beautiful. That today is so beautiful. Nana Vidya Alankar. Alankar means ornament. The power of Alankar. Vinshati Prasad. There are sixteen, twenty types of power of Alankar. प्रेमी भक्त प्रेमी भक्त ज्ञान then that that person will say oh what type of a marvel is krishna where did this marvel come from so you know where it is andar ja ke aise karte hai bhagwan ko dekhte bhi nahi pranam aur ban kar bhagwan ko dekho to sahi wo bhagwan ke darshan nahi karna chahte they don't they don't the some people don't open their eyes even when they are bhagwan ko dekhte sahi bhi nahi so if you have to be a pure brain then he saying that some people are scum shut close their eyes and do pranam and then and then they ask oh give me this give me this from takuji but they don't even open their eyes and have darshan of takuji ये देखो ये गदेव गोस्वामी पाद इन्हें ये देखो स्वामी पाद सेम दैट अंग द लिम्ब्स ऑफ आनंद कृष्ण इज सो ब्यूटीफुल इन्हें गिव आनंद टू द होल यूनिवर्स कोमो चरणादि के द्वारा भजन संस्करण सुंदर को उत्सव उदय कराता है अपराध के काम निष्पादन करा उनके जीवन सफल है people who worship rajendra then their life is successful and the person who is taking the darshan of the roop of krishna then his life is successful this no tagore say can his life is successful he has one time darshan of the roop madhurya of krishna then his life is successful that's what bhakti vinod thakur is saying very very fortunate it's not easy to take bhagwan darshan but it's like he said you know you go in front of bhagwan and close your eyes and pranam they don't even know how to do pranam भगवान से ओपन यूर हाइज एन हैवे लुक एट मी लाइक दान चांद दान चांद हैव यू हर्ड द नेम दान चांद इट वॉज इट वॉज इट वॉज टाइम यू नो वेट इज एवरीबडी वॉज गोइंग बाथ इन द गंगा सो द वाइफ ऑफ द दान चांद टोल्ड दैट यू गो एंड हैव अ बाथ इन द गंगा and he was very miser he would never give a penny to anyone so that's why the village has named him dan dan chand he was very miser 
he didn't give any donation to anyone. He had so much wealth. Even he didn't eat, and even he himself, he didn't even use money for himself. Or he didn't use to feed or he didn't use to feed delicious food, and he didn't even feed others. So at least if you don't eat properly, then at least feed others. The wife said to the him, oh, at least today's a today special day. So go and have bath. And so he said, no, 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 I'm not going. You know, there are so many Brahmins there, and they will ask me for donation, and they'll ask me for money. So the wife said, no, today's a very auspicious day, so you go and have a bath in the Ganga. So you went with most of so, so he walked 25 miles. <laughs> so he thought, oh, I cannot put petrol in my car. So he had 25 miles, oh, kilometers, not miles, sorry. 25 kilometers, he walked to the Ganga, and it was Dasera, like Ganga Dasera was there. So it was very crowded. So, so he said, no, wherever, wherever there is crowd, I don't want to go because the Brahmin, but Pandas will be there and they'll ask me for money. So he was very smart. So, so he would book for money. Bas. They put a gamcha on his shoulder and he put one dhoti underneath. He was conscious. He didn't even have any pockets. Right? You see the villages how that's good. They put one gamcha on the shoulder and then put dhoti, lungi, the lungi style goat dhoti. This kanchus, this damchan, he went to Gangastan like that. So he went there and he saw, oh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of crowd here. And there was one place that nobody was there. So <laughs> The place there was no one where they used to burn the bodies there. In that place, there was just one or two doctor dogs. So, so he, the, when he went there to that place, even the dog dogs started to bark. And he was, and then he came, and he said, "Oh, this is very peaceful." At the moment, nobody dead bodies will be coming now, so I will have snan here and then I'll go away. So he went deep, had a one deep, and then he came up, and then he was try, trying to put the second deep, and then he, in front of him, a Brahmin was standing there. And the Brahmin said, please donate, give us some donation. Dan Chant. <laughs> So Dan Chan said, there was nobody here. Where did you appear from? <laughs> nobody, nobody actually comes. It's like, hey, hardly, who wants to have snan where there's bodies burnt, burnt? So today is Ganga Dasara. Give some donation and then go. So Chandi, I don't, I don't give any donation. I don't give any donation. Give something. Do Ajman. So the uh, Brahmin is saying, do Ajman. You do some puja. I don't do Ajman. You know, I'm Brahmin. Panda, he's Panda. So forcefully, he tried to say, oh, take Ajman. Now do mantra jab. Panda. Well, pandas, you know, are very forceful. Whether you want to do it or not, they try to. They try to. So then Dan Chan said, I don't have any money. I know the person who would give any donation. So Brahmin was not in the ordinary So Brahman, <laughs> Brahmin said, give me 11,000 rupees. He said, 11,000? No, no, then he said, Brahmin said, okay, maybe you can give a donation of a cow. Again, I guess. So yes, it started with 11,000. I said, oh, yeah, give one or one hundred one one hundred and one rupees. Dan Chandi said, no, no, no. I don't give anything to anyone. Then they do one thing. Okay, like, chalo, whatever you desire, you give that much. And today is Gangastan, right?
So give something and go. So I don't have anything, so what can I give him? Brahman said, <laughs> okay, you don't give. You don't give anything, then take something from me. What can I take from you? So, <laughs> Udhalelo. So he said, borrow it from me. You know, you can borrow it from me. <laughs> said, then give that donation to me. You have no, borrow it from me. Borrow it. Borrow it. Take loan. Take loan and give it to me. Brahman was also not like, you know, clever. Brahman was also very smart and clever. So if you don't want to give them, take, take something from me. I said, you know, take loan from me and then donate it to me. Dancer, the first guy, Dancer got in a trap now. So now we said, okay, if you don't donate, then take something. Then Dan Chan said, so he said, okay, okay. Now he's behind me, he will not, he will not leave me. So, so he said, okay. I will pass, I want to give one pesa, one pesa. I will say, okay, something is better than nothing. The Brahmin said, and some Brahmin thought, at least he's given one, at least he's, he's paying, you know, he's given one pesa. So he took a, <laughs> he took a loan of one pesa. The Brahmin said, Panda said, okay, bas, bas, you see, the done, I have given one pesa. Then the Brahmin said, I will come to your house and, uh, and, get, and, and get back this one pesa for me. And so Dantan started to think, well, my house is 25 kilometers from here. You know, there's no transport. So you have to walk. So one pesa, one pesa, one pesa. I don't think so he will walk 25 miles to my house just to, just to get one pesa. He's a very conjuice, you know, he's very miser. So, so one pesa, just to, just, just to get one pesa from somebody, will you walk 25 kilometers? No. So he's thinking like that. So he said, ah, that's her. I've said yes, na, but he's not. Panda also wrote in a paper that he, he, has, he has borrowed one pesa from me and he's given me one pesa donation, I will go to his house and I will go and collect one pesa from him. You know, pandas, they make notes of all the donations. In the Vrindavan, if you go in the Vrindavan and go with them, and Yamuna and Mathura, that's what the pandas do there. <laughs> yeah, they will say, oh, your father, so and so, your great grandfather came and they donated this much. So they make notes of everything, of all the donations. So, so. So Dhanchan walked back 25 kilometers to his house and it was night time when he reached there. He was very tired, he didn't eat anything in the morning. He came <laughs> in the bath and said, he went empty, empty stomach and now he walked back and he said, by evening. So the wife prepared some sabji. He didn't even eat sabji, he would eat only roti and and one mirch. <laughs> also those mirch, you know the chilies that fall off the tree and and you like clean the chili and then have that chili that fall off the tree. He was not spending any money. He would not buy or purchase anything. He never used to go to the bazaar. <laughs> He would never buy aloo, tomatoes, or potatoes. 
So the wife sat down to feed him roti. Wife any roti. And he just started to just sat down and started to have roti. Just he was just and at that time, at the same time, there was a knock on the door. Danchal said, Patni said, Danchal said, Oh, to his wife, go go ahead and see who's at the door. When the wife came and opened the door, and that Brahmin was standing there. So he said, oh, Brahmin. So he said, ah, he said, is this Chan Danchal comes? So the wife said, yes. So he, said, he spoke with one pesa from me. So I've come here to collect one pesa from me. The wife said, Danchan. The wife, the wife came and said to Danchan, Danchan, did you go and have a bath in a Ganga? Did you borrow anyone money from anyone? Danchan said, Aage, so he's already here. <laughs> and from Pese, and he's come all the way, he's walked 25 kilometers uh, uh, for one pesa. He's come here. <coughs> Then Danchan said, tell him, <laughs> tell him that <laughs> now Danchan is very sick and that when he gets better, you come back again and he will give you one pesa. So the wife said, Danchan, Danchan is sick. So the wife said to him, so Danchan, so so he's Bhima now. So come back after two, three, two, three days, and then he's better, and then he'll give you one pesa. So Dansan is thinking, Kare, you know, <coughs> he's come once, once, one time you will come. Maybe he, he's not going to come again the second time and walk 25 kilometers. So Dansan is said, so Dansan is telling the wife, that wife, that he's Bimar, he's sick. Dansan is sick, and then after a few days he will be better, and then he come back and collect the money. And the Brahmin also was not, also, Brahmin was also smart. So Brahmin says, Chajman, Chajman is saying, so Bra Brahmin is saying that he's like my son, you know, Tanchan is like my Shisha, like my son. Then the Brahmin said, I will not leave until my son is not better, until Danchan is not better, I will sit here outside. <coughs> the wife also came. The wife came back to Danchan and said, oh, he's not going to go. He will sit outside the door until you get better. So he said, <laughs> so Brahmin said, okay, I will sit here. You have in some fruit for me. A kilo apple. <laughs> one kilo. <laughs> one kilo bananas, one kilo apple. You can add in that much for me. <laughs> and the Dansan said, I did not even eat a fruit in my life. <laughs> and then he said, <laughs> for one pesa, he wants one kilo of apples and uh, bananas. <laughs> for one pesa. For, uh, for apples, I would have to spend 100 rupees. So Dan Chan said, okay, go to his wife, Margya. <laughs> so he told the wife, <laughs> his wife said, Dan Chan, Margya, he's dead, he's dead. So, so wife said, are you speaking? So wife said, how can I speak that? So he said, are you, go on, tell him that and he will listen that he will, he will go, he will go away. So. <coughs> so, then what if he said, wife is... <laughs> so, so the wife said, oh, oh well, the wife said, what if he comes in? Then he said, don't worry, you know, I will stop breathing. I will be... So the wife is like a... But, so, Dan, so he came, she came out and told the Brahmin that my wife, my husband Danchan is dead. 
So he Brahmin said, so he's just my, so, so he said, so he's like my son, you know. So so so, so, he, <laughs> so that Brahmin said, no, no, he's like my son, and if he's dead, then I will do full samskar and then go, I'll do all the puja in the ceremony, and then I will go. And then this this spread around the village that Danchan is dead. So, so now what will Danchan do? Then by knowing this, was he hold his breath and he, he stopped breathing and he said, <laughs> like that he's lying down, he's lying down, he's like holding his breath. And all the villagers came. <laughs> <laughs> so the villagers touched him and said, ah, he's dead, chalo, chalo, let's go into a sanskar. Hold it there. <laughs> so, so the wife said, hey, wife said, no, 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 he's not dead, she's holding his breath. So the villagers said, the wife always said, attachment. She's got attachment in her husband, so she's not going to say my husband's dead. <laughs> the villagers took the body out and took him to the funeral <laughs> cemetery, Sasma, uh, graveyard, and they arranged everything and put him down, lighting him down on the wood, and he's still like Sas. He was also holding his breath and lying down. <laughs> so the person came to tell him we have to light him up with the fire. The Brahman. <laughs> <laughs> Brahmin told, <laughs> told the village, hey, move away, he's my son, you know, I will do the, I will do the um, uh, uh, lighting. And then Brahmin said, he said, Dancha, <laughs> to give one money, one pesa, you are prepared to die. So I am Brahmin, I am like Bhagwan, even you, you, you've had snan of uh, Ganga, that is not way, the fruit of the Ganga snan will not be wasted. So he said, yeah, look, you are prepared to die for one pesa. You have got so many, so much money and you are prepared to die. But he said, look, open, see who I am. Look, have a darshan of my chatur book. I have my Vishnu Swoop, all the Pallad, you know, Brahma and they are having so much tapasya to have, they are performing so much austerities to have darshan of me, and I am, so you take darshan. So what is Brahman? Chalo, Brahmin maybe, might be, have Bhagavan, so okay. <laughs> so Danchan. So Dantan opened the eyes. <laughs> so Dantan, when he opened his eyes, he said, Oh, who is this? This is not Bhagwan, he's Brahmin, he's here. So quickly he shut his eyes. Then Bhagwan said, Hey, Dantan, so da Bra Brahmin said, Hey, Dantan, I'm Bhagwan, I'm not Brahman. And Brahmin, and then again he opened his eyes. Second time he opened the eyes. Then again, then again he see the same Brahman. He shut his eyes. Bhagwan said, Bhagwan, the Brahman, it wasn't Brahman, it was Bhagwan. He just disguised as a Brahman. And he said, that I have killed so many asuras, I've killed so many asuras, demons, you know. but but me, I have lost in front of you. You have won, and I am lost. I have lost because one pesa, for one pesa, you are prepared to die. That also you borrowed from me. You have promised me to give me that, yes. Even for one pesa, you are prepared to die. Then Thakurji said, I, I lost Dancha, you win Dancha, take my darshan. That uh, the Ganga Snan you had will not be wasted. The fruit of the Ganga Snan you had will be wasted. 
and then when he opened dance and opened his eyes he saw saksat who loved vishnu and he did pranam dance and said hey prabhu if you are bhagwan vishnu then please give me something so bhagwan said ask what do you want ask whatever you want so dance and started to think now i mean that to this problem so he's this dance and is asking this from bhagwan that this one uh, rupee one uh, one paise that i borrowed from him the debt i have please forgive me please forgive this debt the rain the debt i was the debt i knew to pay you one was so bhagwan smiled and said hey dan jan nobody is like him even anand ka god of bhagwan who is bhagwan of the universe and he you know you could have like, you could have asked me anything materially for dharma arth mukti i can give you everything krishna is very is ready to give prem but what did he ask for what that one paisa that was also borrowed money there is so much anand in bhagwan's darshan so that's why people go to thakur ji and close the eyes and have darshan so they say open the eyes and have a have proper darshan of krishna like of the lord how beautiful he is with eyes bhagwan is very ready to give us everything what we want what should you ask from bhagwan aiti bhakti na dhanam na sundaram what you should ask from bhagwan is aiti ki bhakti bhakti means service seva kavita sundari सर्विस So what should you ask from Bhagwan? An alloy, devotional service. You should ask for seva. Our Mahaprabhu is giving na dhanam na 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 dhanam na janam na sundiram kavitam vajag desam. भक्ति earth will follow after you dharma dharma earth kaam bhakti kisi ke bhakti who was got a pure bhakti then in this earth and economics and money and wealth is is is, is like nothing to that person 
and the left and right and all the right and all the maid servants are also walking, walking next to her. So if bhakti bhakti is like that, when a bhakti comes comes in somebody's heart, then also every the Lakshmi will also walk. So that's why in Shastra it says two bhakti, two bhajan. Bas, even if you do little bhakti, you will see that how much magic, that Bhagwan's nature, you will see the Bhagwan's nature in your life. And then the uh, 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 people who don't believe in God, they don't understand this. Okay, you look in, you stay in your household, look after your mother and father, whatever you are doing, go to college. I am not saying not to stop doing all this. You are, you are following the household life, follow, carry on with that. I am not saying, oh, leave everything and then, yeah. If Bhagwan desires, if you like it or you not, at the time, at the time, Bhagwan will, Bhagwan's desire, everyone else around you will leave you. Whoever came in your life, they will go. Did you understand? Hmm. You didn't come with any, you, you came empty handed. You didn't bring anyone. But now you got a house and the wealth and, and family, do daughters and sons. Did you come with this? When you took birth, you came alone. But now, today, you got big house and everything. You didn't bring it with you. Maybe this this is because of your karma. But then again, slowly, slowly, with time, one by one, everything will leave you. What did we bring with us? Nothing. Kali we will go when we leave also we should go empty -handed. they have also yes people who come into my life they have also they have also left my my father my mother my son they will go right they will leave you isn't that true sometimes your mother and father died before your death sometimes you know your brothers you don't know who will go before and who will go after, but uh, but they will go. But one by one, they will leave you, or you will also leave them. And then you maybe they have left, and then you'll be alone in the house, isn't it? But but if you and bhakti, and bhakti will come with you life after life. If bhakti, if bhakti comes, then everything automatically will also come. Like health, dhan, bath, wife, everything will come. Bas, whoever you have, husband, wife, father, mother, tell them to do, put them. Tell your wife, oh, serve Thakurji Seva Karo. Tell your son, serve, serve Thakurji. And your daughter, tell her to serve Thakurji. And engage your family in Thakurji Seva. Engage every, every member of your family in Thakurji Seva. Wealth, Bhagwan has given you wealth. Then you use it in Thakurji Seva. <laughs> and if you are like Dan Chan, then what will happen? Dan Chan. Did, 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 he, did he tell me? Did this Dan Chan die uh, after? What did he take with him? He told Thakurji that Rin, that Rin, he sent his, uh, this, uh, this loan that I Good. 
He's a little Samoan, right? He is asking the Bhagwan. He said, Bhagwan, you should ask for bhakti, not to forgive the a debt. Take me to, you can ask, take me to Vrindavan Dham. That make me the dasi of Radharani. That will not come out from this dance. What came out from this dance and that, that one paisa that I borrowed from you, please forgive that. that. That Bhagwan has got so beautiful roots. Everybody got married after his roots. Gopis, when they the gopis go mad, then they have a roop of they have darshan of a guan's roop. Leela Madhurya, so beautiful they are Leelas of Bhagavan. Venu Madhurya, when he plays the flute, the sound is so beautiful that it attracts everyone. The sweetness of the sound from the flute attracts everyone. That is, the sound from the Krishna's flute is so, so sweet. It attracts us. And then Prema Madhurya, Prema Madhurya, Krishna has got so much love that with his love he attracts everyone and, and, and yes. Krishna has, even the Brahmaji and so much stout stutis and praise and there's so much stout stutis they Govinda that's the that Govinda is asking is, is arming down at Radharani for Diksha. This is a very high 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 katha. Is there love like this? Anyone has the Krishna is saying and when Krishna is saying to Radharani Saying, hey, Radhe, I, I will be in, I will always remain in debt. Yes. Krishna is saying, Krishna is thinking of himself that he's in debt. He will always remain in debt of Laos, Radharan is brain. Even Brahmaji is who lived. Even if I, even if I live for one day of Lord Brahma, still I will never be able to repay your debt. Krishna is saying, "Na parayan." This beautiful, normal, pure brain you have. I have melted. Melted. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. That is your brain. I have I'm completely sold out. Like if you sell a cow to somebody else, then that cow will not give you milk. You, whoever you've sold the cow to, that whoever the person's bought the cow, then the cow will give the milk to the new owner. Even the Brahmas, even if I, nay, even I will never be able to be repay your debt. So that's why he's saying, Krishna himself is saying that I am always being rainy. I will always remain in debt. I will never be able to repay your debt. Na pyari ham nirvatiya samuchi. 
The seva, the seva, the gopis have, it's not pratik, it's transcendental bhav. It's trans, there's not even a smell of, a smell of calm. It's not a not even a drop of self 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 sense 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 gratification. Here, in this material world, in this material world, there is always some self-interest. But in the, but in the self-interest, self-interest, self, this self-interest or self-desire. So in the spiritual world, everything is for the pleasure of Krishna. There is not a single drop of self. Desire. What is the gopi's premise? Like, if you put if the fire, the heat is not coming from out, right? Right. The ice, the the coolness from the ice is coming from the ice. If you say ice, ice means there is a cool, cold is with the ice. It's not separate, it's together, right? When you say baraf, when you say ice, that the coldness is there with the ice. And then in the fire, the heat is in the fire. So like that, gopis heart, the love that gopis have for Krishna, is not a smell of gun. There's no single itcha, desire for themselves. Everything is for the happiness of Krishna. So nirmal, the heart is pure. The pure is pavitra, pure. pure. The crystal pure. Everything is pure, like a crystal. Ujjwal means it was Prakash. That love is got delightful Prakash. Suddha means Pavitra, like, like gold. You know gold? When you heat the gold, when you want to make the gold pure, then when you heat that gold again and again in the fire, and all the uh, all the impurities in the gold is uh, dissolved out. So similarly, this uh, gopi's love is like suddha. Suddha like pure, suddha like a pure gold. There is nothing added in that gold. So for that these gopis are doing? The radhaji is the uttam. So they take Krishna as Guru. As we will see the group. Krishna is also a Guru of Radhika and Gopis. And Gopis are also Sishya of Krishna. Krishna is also Guru of Gopis, and Gopis are also Guru of Krishna. So how can that be at the same time? Assist of Krishna. They assist Krishna. They assist Krishna in all activities. So Guru is also? Guru also gives instruction. Upadesa is instruction, instru or advice, or instruction. So he's a guru, yeah. right? Who gives advice or So like that, guru is an advisor of to copies 
the advices to Krishna. They give advice to Krishna. So they are also he's also a disciple. So the disciple who is also following disciple always follows Krishna's Adesh, Krishna's instruction. So the gopis are also following Krishna's instruction. They're also friends, like they're friends. So uh, uh, one like one friend advises the another friend. So they are also giving advice to Krishna, do this, do this, and this is beneficial for you. So Brahma's, Brahma's Nayak, how he is tied with the gopis Prem and bounded with the Prem of gopis. So Dasi, Sakimut is a friend as well, and also Dasi, a servant as well, Seva. The gopis. That's why they serve Krishna very nicely. Radha, she says, why should I get, why, why, when I get angry, why do I get angry? For the happiness of Krishna. Actually, in this jagat, in this material world, is anger good or not? No. When Radharani has anger for Krishna, that is for the suk, for the happiness of Krishna. This one Bhagwan is saying to Arjun in Adipuran, hey Arjun. This is the type of relationship I have with Radha and Gopis. And out of those Gopis, who is the topmost is Radha Ji. To hide, to hide, to keep it confidential, to hide. Krishna Prem is Prem. Who will, who will keep that Prem hidden and very confidential? Who will it? Srimati Radhika. Where does the Prem stay? Prem stays in the, in the chambers of the heart. In these chambers of the heart. In Radhaji's chambers of the heart, the Prem stays. The Prem is in the what is the one name of Radha is called Durga. Durga. One name of Radha is Durga. These ordinary people in the samskars and they do Durga. They do Durga worshiping. But, but in Radha Upanishad, in Radha Upanishad, Radha is another name is Durga. Because why she hides that she is also called Gopi because she hides that frame for Krishna, she is the love she is for Krishna. She hides in the inner core of her heart. 
It's it hidden and confidential. In every day, in our, in our chambers of the heart, she keeps that prem hidden. And she doesn't let anyone can not even enter. Radha. Read, listen, read Radha Upanishad. Radhika is another name is Gopi Bhima. Gopi Balabha. Gopi Jana. Gopi Jana Balabha. That's another name of Radhika. Gopi Jana Balabha. That is another name of Radha. Balabha. Yan Pran. Pran Pritam means he's her beloved. Balabha means beloved of Krishna. And that why in the cave of the heart he hides it. So nobody can know this prayer. Who will understand this? Karmis, people who are doing karma, they will not be able to understand this. So that's why. And Gyani, Gyani, his body we compare the Gyani with a crow. They are like a crow. Day and, day and night they keep on saying, Go, go, go. The Gyanis can know it. No, not this, not this, not this, not this. Gyanis keep it there. So, the Gyanis are compared to like a crow. They keep on saying, ka, 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 all day and night. So, this year, we do bhajan and seva. Just do bhajan and seva. Radha Tattva is so beautiful, so beautiful. If you know this Radha Tattva, then your life is successful. Try and, try and learn this Radha Tattva. I think nobody will forget that point. <laughs> 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 <laughs>